shortly we'll be beginning the Mass, the Requiem Mass for the Repose of the Soul of Michelina. But as uh, customary and the tradition we have as Catholics is that we always want to include in our prayers for the repose of the soul of the people we love, our mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, and our mother. And in the Hail Mary that we say during the rosary, we say, Mary, pray for us now. So we're asking Mary to join us here and now. Remember, she is a Christian like all of us, having been redeemed by her son like each and every one of us will be. Her special place in the history of our salvation is the role that she played and how well and how committed she was all during her life to that promise that she made to God that she would be the mother of his son, nurture him, love him, and accompany him on life's journey right to the cross. And this is the greatness of Mary. And because of the love of her son, she loves us with a maternal love, that instinct of a woman to reach out and to be there for those in need. And she joins us today in prayer. But we also say, Mary, we pray for us here and now and at the hour of our death. So and now as we farewell Michalina, let us commend her soul to Almighty God and let us ask Mary to pray together with us so that the Lord may hear our prayer and grant a place to Michalina in heaven. So in the first glorious mystery, we meditate on the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Jesus died, but he destroyed death once and for all. We go through a physical death, but through his resurrection, he has obtained for us that life which is everlasting, passage from life to death through that door that he opened for us, the resurrection which permits us at the end of life's journey to be with him in that spiritual form which is forever. So, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant to her, Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. In the second glorious mystery, we meditate on uh, the ascension of Jesus. Jesus died. Three days later, on the first Easter Sunday, he rose from the dead. But he did not return immediately to heaven. He remained on earth for 40 days. And in those 40 days, he appeared to the ones he loved, his disciples, his followers, his mother, the Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, and all those who were part of his life and who were the first witnesses of Jesus, what he did, what he said. And he, returned, he stayed there for 40 days to assure them and to strengthen them, saying, look, it's not all over. I have risen from the dead, I am here with you, and I will be with you forever. If not in a physical form, I will be with you, and I will later send you the Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eterno riposo, donna lei, Signore, splenda ad essa la luce perpetua. Riposa in pace. Amen. In the third glorious mystery, we meditate on the descent of the Holy Spirit. Jesus returns to heaven but sends the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the one that we receive, that Spirit that we receive on the day of our baptism. And on the first Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles who were gathered in a first floor room and a little house in Jerusalem, and if you go to Jerusalem, even today, you can visit that place where Mary and the apostles were gathered behind closed doors, grieving the loss of Jesus, and also afraid of the authorities and what might become of them. And while they were there in prayer, in trepidation, in anxiety that comes with not knowing what the future may hold, the Holy Spirit came down upon them. They became aware of this presence, this gentle breeze, this light that appeared, that assured them that God is present. God is there. God is with them in the form of his Spirit. And it is that Spirit that helps us in life's journey. That Spirit that assisted Michalina in her life. And when we feel that we don't have the courage or the strength to go on, it's that Spirit within us that says, come on, you can. I'll help you, I'll lift you up. Together we can do it. Alone you may not, but with the help of my, with my spirit and the strength and the consolation and the certainty that all things must come to a good, let's walk together. And this is what strengthens and allows even the weakest of us once we're convinced that that spirit can empower us to higher things, to do what we can do and to achieve what otherwise we couldn't achieve on our own, but only with the help of the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eterno riposo, donna lei, Signore. Splenda adesso la luce perpetua, riposa in pace. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, we meditate on Mary's assumption. Mary lives uh, many years without Jesus and lives in the house of John, whom Jesus assigned his mother to, to care for after he left this world. But in doing that, when Jesus uh, assigned Mary to John. It wasn't just to John, but he gave his mother to each and every one of us. From the cross he fixed his eyes on the eyes of his mother and he said, Behold your children, all of us. And looking at John, he says, Behold your mother. And that love that we have for Mary stems from this action of Jesus, Jesus who gave us his own mother as our mother, our spiritual mother, our mother in faith, that perfect model of fidelity and Christian faith. So together with Mary, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eterno riposo, donna lei, Signore, splenda ad essa la luce perpetua. Riposa in pace. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery. Mary is crowned Queen of Heaven and Earth. And this title that we give to Mary, our Mother, Queen of Heaven and Earth, is not simply because she's the Mother of Jesus. I suppose in one way that would be enough, being the Mother, having been chosen to be the Mother of God's only Son. But what makes Mary great and what makes her stand out? As we say, blessed are you among women, among all of humanity, is not just the fact that she was chosen, but having been chosen for a specific role, for a specific mission, how she embraced that role and remained committed to it. She was only a young lady and she would have had no idea what this promise that she made to God would have entailed. The hardship, the doubts, the concerns, the worries, the pain, the suffering. Things that each and every one of us at times must also experience in life. But all these things and the great demand made on her by the role that she accepted, never ever swayed her from that commitment. She remained commit committed to God's promise and with that she becomes the perfect model of how we should live our faith. Hail Mary, uh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eterno riposo, donna lei, Signore, Splenda adesso la luce perpetua, riposa in pace. Amen. Salve Regina, Madre di Misericordia, vida dolcedo e speranza nostra salve. A te ricordiamo, esuli figli di Eva. A te sospiriamo, gemente e piangente, in questa valle di lacrime. Osso dunque, Avvocato nostra, rivolgi a noi gli occhi tuoi misericordiosi. E mostrici dopo questo esilio terreno, Gesù, il frutto benedetto del tuo seno. O Clemente, o Via, o Dolce Vergine Maria, e prega per noi, Santa Madre di Dio, affinché saremo fatti degni dei promessi di Dio. In nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Amen. I'll go and get vested now, and in a few moments we begin the Mass. And in this Mass we reenact those events of the Last Supper when Jesus gathered his apostles and showed us the way to offer sacrifice to him around the table of the Lord in the Mass that we celebrate. And this action, this sacrifice culminated with his death on the cross on the first Good Friday. And at every Mass we continue those two events, the Last Supper and that cross where Jesus gave his life in order that we may have life in him.
with holy water and that is to remind us of the day when Michalina was presented to her little parish church and it was there that she was given the gift of the Holy Spirit. So we call on uh, Luigi to come forward. I'll bless the casket first and then you can also sprinkle the casket with the holy water. symbols of baptism. So the next uh, a symbol is the lighting of the Paschal candle. So if Tony could come forward now and we'll light the Paschal candle. Again a symbol of the day when Michalina was baptised. of the white pool and Sonia and Maria will be placing this uh, pool on the casket. At her baptism, Michalina received a white garment, a symbol of her dignity as a child of God. We now cover her coffin with a white cloth in recognition of her fidelity to God throughout her life. May the Lord not look on any wrong that she may have done during her life through human weakness, but rather look upon her faithfulness to her God and her love for her family and friends. Thank you. The placing of the photograph and crucifix by Joe and Fred de Lapola. In baptism, Michalina received the sign of the cross. May she now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. And with love and reverence, we place this photo on Michalina's casket as a symbol of her importance and love for her family. And now the placing by Sonia and Maria of the flowers and the rosary beads. 
With love and reverence, we place these flowers and <coughs> the fruit of the earth on Michalina's casket as a symbol of her beauty and this rosary to symbolize her life of prayer. As Michalina became one with Christ in baptism, may she now become a new creation in the life of heavenly, of her heavenly inheritance. We'll ask you all to be seated and uh, as we let go of Michalina, what we want to do now is to call on those events, those very important memories that you shared with her in life and to carry these memories with you. She's not physically present but she will remain in your hearts through the memories that you shared together. So we call on Fred and Sonia now to come forward and to share a few of these words, these words of remembrance of Mama as you farewell her today. So Fred and Sonia. So this is the story of Mum. Mum was, Mum was born on the 21st of September 1932 in Afragola, Naples, Italy. She was the first born child to Luigi and Ferdinando Romano. Because of the war, Mum only got to complete grade three. And it was here that her life of supporting her family began. It was during this time that sadly her mother, Luigia, became ill with tuberculosis and passed away when mum was only 12. Mum took the lead responsibility of caring for her brothers, Victorio, Domenico, Antonio, Gennaro, and her sister, Giuseppina. A few years later, her father remarried to Maria and her younger brother, Luigi, was born. Mum was the founder of her family Bottega, a small deli type store selling essentials like legumes, salumini, wine, olives to the locals. Often she would recount the stories of the war and how the American soldiers would come in and buy cigarettes and clear out the store. This is where mum developed her business and entrepreneurial skills. Mum and her sister Zia Pipinella would wake up in the early hours of the morning and bake bread in the Palazzo's communal wood fire ovens. They would then sell the loaves to provide a support for the family. When mum was 14, she noticed a tall, dark, handsome young man who came into the bodega to buy cigarettes. It was here that she met her love of her life, Giovanni, dad who called mum Romanella because of her surname and because everybody in Naples has a nickname. Dad lived on the same Vico Traco or road and would make sure she went and he made sure he went every day to buy a packet of cigarettes just to see mum. Their romance flourished and although dad wanted to elope, mum wouldn't have it. At the age of 20, they married in the local church on October 5, 1952. Mum had her first three children in Italy, Maria Francesca, Giuseppe and Ferdinando. During this time, Dad worked in the, in the Italian military. He was a cook for the senior officers and had a job secured for life. However, Dad's brother, Salvatore, convinced Dad to leave his job and come to Australia. Dad had set sail from Italy on a ship named Sydney in 1957. 
He sailed to Australia without money, not a word of English, and no place to live. The idea was that Dad would work for one or two years and save enough money to return to Italy and live comfortably. But that plan didn't eventuate. Dad boarded with other Italians in Richmond. He worked hard to save enough money and 12 months later, he brought Mum and the rest of the family out from Italy. Mum wasn't too convinced, but Dad called it the land of opportunity. In 1958, with three children in tow, she boarded the ship Neptune and commenced her journey. Heartbroken to leave her father, siblings that she raised and sailed away to Australia where her new life would begin. Nine months after arriving, Luigi was born and soon after mum and dad brought their first home in Henry Street, Abbotsford. It was a miner's cottage, two bedrooms, right, where the four kids, Maria, Joe, Fred and Lou, all slept in the one room. Mum experienced a tough time of adapting to the new Australian culture. Olive oil for cooking would only be purchased at the pharmacy. Italian cheese was only available in Smith Street in Collingwood. Mum and Dad had to make their own tomato sauce, wine, salami, pickle jars of mulignane and uh, cut chaffee, right, to keep in the pantry. Uh, Mum didn't just battle with the culture, she also struggled with the language. When going to the fruit shop, she would never pronounce eggs. Instead, she used to call them legs. And I remember she was telling me, you know, t told us quite often, when she would go to the milk bar to buy salt, she would go like this for salt, right? And it was very interesting because the poor fellow would then play a game of charades, trying to work out what Mum was trying to say. Although always wanted to go back to Italy, both Mum and Dad forged a life here because they knew Australia would provide a future for the kids. Mum wanted to open up an Italian grocery store, but Dad's passion for cooking directed them to start the Zubio Catering Service in 1961. With uh, perseverance and hard work, they became very well known and respected within the Italian community for their quality. Their reputation as a catering service grew. Most of the family was involved in the business, helping with the waitering, the fruit preparation, the washing, the cleaning. Mum's hands worked so hard, she wore them out. After each function, she fed all the staff. Uh, fed all the staff. She'd be cooking spaghetti aglio e olio, right, at 1 a.m. in the morning. By the end of the week, the white shirts, the tablecloths were washed, starched, pressed to perfection, ready for the next week's functions. During these years, alongside their catering business, they also proudly owned and operated at different times a range of businesses, a fish and chip shop, a cake shop, a pizza shop, a fruit shop. The whole family, especially mum, all worked hard together to run these businesses. These were truly difficult years, but mum never complained. Mum would tell us that at times when running the pizza shop, the nights got so late that they often missed the train to Melbourne and would have to go back to the shop and sleep on the bags of flour. By then, mum and dad outgrew the single fronted home in Abbotsford and moved to the dwelling behind the fruit shop in Johnson Street, Collingwood. While living there, Tony was born in 1968. Shortly after, they sold the fruit shop, moved to Foley Street and continued to build their catering business. Life went on like this for some time and in the early 70s, mum and dad brought their dream home and made their final move to 1281 Burke Road in Kew. And in 1973, Sonia was born, completing the family. sacrifice, hard work and many business ventures, Mum retired. It was time for her to slow down, enjoy life and enjoy her young children. By this time, the older kids were getting married and along with young kids of her own, she was kept busy with grandkids. She always loved a house full of people. Mum's passion was always centred around food and the garden, especially her flowers. 
To have a three-course meal on the table wherever family or friends dropped by was effortless. The cooking was always amazing. She was the most organised person, preparing weeks in advance for any festive occasion. She'd always say, Sonia, come on, we have to go and buy the pasta, the cheese, whatever it was for Christmas. She loved her shopping expeditions. No matter if it was for her beautiful material, for her couture outfits, or to buy food from the Vic Market or Mediterranean, and recently in a Teca Silero. You always love to stop and chat to all the owners, and an exhibition of shopping would take hours. The Monday lunch club in your kitchen with Dad and Fred always made us envious. As a joke, we used to call it Restaurant 1281. After years of spoiling us with your amazing food, I'm glad you finally shared your infamous strawberry tiramisu recipe, which is a bit of an ongoing joke with all the grandchildren. When Dad's health deteriorated in his last years of life, Mum never left his side. Always there caring for and loving him unconditionally. The passing of her soulmate and life partner in 2016 left her heartbroken. And she would often say, il vuoto è tremende, the emptiness is unbearable. Mum, you were loved by all your family, your six kids, 19 grandchildren and 22 great-grandchildren. Also being a mother to your six siblings for all those years gave you such a tight bond with them, even though they were thousands of kilometres away in Italy. Mum, there are so many stories and memories, too many to mention. You had a beautiful and unique relationship with each and every one of us, and we will cherry this forever. You were a true strong warrior with fierce determination, and even these last few difficult months, your fighting spirit was so strong. You were a pioneer, an entrepreneur, a loving and devoted wife, a selfless mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother, and a chef extraordinaire. You have left us a true legacy of values, integrity and honesty, and unconditional love for your family. It will be your quirky and quick one-liners that, we will, that will be missed the most. And it didn't matter what time of day, even if it was one o'clock in the morning. We not only lost a mother, but a soulmate and friend. We take comfort in knowing that you're reunited with our beloved dad. You will be forever in our hearts. Love from your children, Maria, Joe, Fred, Luigi, <coughs> Tony, and I. <coughs> Thank you, Fred and uh, Sonia, for sharing those um, words of tribute to Mum, Mama, the Michalina, who today we now commend to Almighty God and to his love. So if we could stand now and uh, before we begin the Mass, ask the Lord to forgive us for the times that we have failed to love one another and him for the times that we haven't been bridge builders in our relationships in order to live in union with each other and with God. Signore Pietà, Cristo Pietà, Signore Pietà, and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Almighty God, our Father, 
We firmly believe that your son died and rose to life. We pray for our sister Michalina who has died in Christ. Raise her to share the glory of the risen Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Be seated now. And we have the first of the readings, uh, and we call on Sue, Sue de L'Aquila, to read for us from the Book of Sirach. Here is a generous woman whose good works have not been forgotten. In her descendants there remains a rich inheritance born of her. Her descendants stand by her covenants, and thanks to her, so do her children's children. Her offspring will, la uh, sorry, her offspring will last forever. Her glory will not fade. Her body will be buried in peace, and her name will live on for all generations. The people will proclaim her wisdom. The assembly will celebrate her praises. Lord, the Lord of the word, sorry, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. As for me, my life is already being poured away, and the time has come for me to depart. I have fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. All there is to come for me now is the crown of glory which the Lord will give me on that day of judgment, 
The Lord stood by me and gave me strength. The Lord will rescue me from evil and bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. The word of the Lord. Please stand to welcome the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still. Gesù disse ai suoi discepoli, non sia turbato il vostro cuore. Abbiate fede in Dio. For there are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, said Jesus. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. <clears throat> and you know the way to the place where I am going. But Thomas, one of the apostles, said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Gesù disse, Io sono la via, la verità e la vita. Nessuno viene al Padre se no per mezzo di me. The Gospel of the Lord. Just be seated for a few moments. <clears throat> and it's because of these words that Jesus left us in this Gospel today, which John, St. John recorded for us. No one can come to the Father except through me. So as we farewell Michalina and we acknowledge all that she was able to accomplish in life, the achievements, how she was for you, that gift that she was, and everything she did in life with that conviction that she was essential in giving you something, something greater than she possibly ever had. Something that would help you to achieve that fullness of poten potential. All the sacrifices, everything that she did for you, she did out of love. Convinced that that was the only way that she could show you how important you were and how much she loved you. And this is a very core and essence of who we are as human beings and even more so how we live our lives as Christians. When Jesus says, I am the way, he's shown us the way and those who are able to have faith and trust in him will follow that way. Even if at times it's the more difficult way Yet, the results will be 
better than if we didn't follow that way. And the truth, believing in God's words, that God does not deceive us. His words are spirit and life. We follow his words. We trust in him. We will find fullness of life here on earth and life to come. And this is a whole mystery. This is a whole essence of who we are as human beings. God brings us into this world to give us that opportunity to be one with him in creating a place where we can actually have a role in a part and we can actually leave life and say, well, I've done my part, as we read in the second reading there to Timothy, I've run the race. Let's just say here, I have fought the good fight. And sometimes life is like a fight. A determination wins, so. I have run the race to the finish. Not just a little thing here, a little thing there, but applying ourselves and committed to the cause, to the finish. I have kept the faith, and that is often what keeps us going. The faith that we have in God, that all things will eventually come to their good. And all there is to come for me now is that crown of glory which the Lord gives on the day when he receives us. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength. And any one of us who has to face challenges in life, work hard and committed like Michalina and Gerandi and anyone else in particular our generation before us who could focus on those real essential things, the important things, not to be distracted by side issues, but the very important things. What's important? Relationship. How we relate as parents, how we relate as children to our parents, with our siblings, with those around us. Where are the relationships we have? How much do we invest in relationships to make them sound and good and life-giving to others and give us the satisfaction that we're not alone but we're together and together we can find strength and support in each other which permits us to do even more than we could do in isolation or alone. And in the end this is what we appreciate of those people we farewell, how they were able to enter into our life and be what they were to us. And I think all the time, even when my mum died and all my aunts and things like that, that reoccurring thing, in particular in us Italians, I suppose everywhere, but more in Italians and probably Greeks and everything else like that, who see the importance of what a family gathering can, can bring. So it's not always that the, the, the mums love cooking. Sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't. But they saw that it was an, an essential way to bring us together, to bring the family together, to create that joyful moments. That strengthens relationships, children growing in that security and that, uh, that certainty that they're not alone. They can rely on each other. And this is one of the beauties, I think, that we have to sort of, as it were, continue to refocus ourselves or our ideas on rather than the achievements that sometimes in today's world we're, we're sort of, um, in a sense, talked into, into doing. It's not the achievement for achievement's sake, but what we do in order to create something, not for ourselves only, but for those who are near us. So as we farewell and we have the image, that beautiful image that you presented to us today um, uh, in those words of remembrance of uh, uh, Fred and Sonia, we want to sort of put these sentiments before us as we offer this Mass and thank God for the gift of Michalina. Thank God for the gift of Mama and may you be able to give to your children, grandchildren and everybody else that same uh, help and um, inspiration that your mum, your, your nonna, was for you. So we now have the prayers of the faithful, and in the prayers of the faithful, 
uh, it will be Sue and uh, Tamara that will lead us in prayer. So Sue and Tamara, if you could come forward, I'll do the uh, introduction and then I'll step aside and you continue. So, in piedi. Fratelli, supplichiamo Gesù Cristo, nostro Signore, che ha detto, io sono la risurrezione e la vita. Chiunque vive e crede in me non morrà in eterno. Sì. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. You raised the dead to life. Give to our sister Galena eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. You promised paradise to the repentant thief. Bring Galena to the joys of heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Sister Michalina was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints forever. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Michalina was nourished with your body and your blood at the table of the Lord. <clears throat> Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our sister Michalina. <sighs> Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. O Signore, la nostra preghiera sia di aiuto agli animi dei fedeli defunti. La tua misericordia concedi a loro il perdono dei peccati e li renda partecipi alla tua redenzione. Per Cristo, nostro Signore. Amen. Because of the circumstances, we have uh, the offertory, but in the gifts we bring up a flower and a candle. The symbols, again, the candle, symbol of life, and the flower as a symbol of your respect, your love for Michelin. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church.
Lord, receive the gifts we offer for the salvation of Michalina. May Christ be merciful in judging our sister, for she believed in Christ as her Lord and Saviour. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And if we could stand now. E veramente cosa buona e giusta nostro dovere e fonte di salvezza, rendere grazie sempre in ogni luogo. A te, Signore, Padre Santo, Dio onnipotente ed eterno. In Cristo tuo Figlio, nostro Salvatore, rifulgi a noi la speranza della beata risurrezione. E se ci rattrista la certezza di dover morire, ci consola la promessa di immortalità futura. E i tuoi fedeli, o oh Signore, la vita non è tolta ma trasformata. E mentre si distrugge la dimora di questo esilio terreno, viene preparata un'abitazione eterna nel cielo. E per questo mistero di salvezza, uniti agli angeli e ai santi, cantiamo senza fine l'inno della tua gloria. Santo, Santo, Santo. either sit or kneel, whatever is possible, whatever you can do. So either sit or kneel. You are indeed holy, Lord, for you are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy.
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Peter our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Michalina, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that as she was united with your Son in baptism, she may now also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. to the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. This prayer, no doubt, would have been one of the first prayers that Michalina was ever taught, either from her own parents or when she went to catechism in her little village church in preparation for the sacraments. And I'm sure that this prayer was often the prayer that she would say, in particular when she prayed for a little family children and grandchildren, not only asking for what was necessary as their daily bread or the help that they needed in life, but also to be able to love through forgiveness all those who at times may offend us, may not, not, not be righteous with us, that we become people of peace, peacemakers, bridge builders. So let's say il Padre nostro insieme e lo diciamo in italiano. Padre nostro che sei nei cieli, sia santificato il tuo nome, venga il tuo regno, sia fatta la tua volontà come in cielo così in terra. Dacci oggi il nostro pane quotidiano e rimetti a noi i nostri debiti come noi li rimettiamo ai nostri debitori. E non ci intura in tentazione, ma liberici dal male, liberici, o oh Signore da tutti i mali. Concede la pace ai nostri giorni e con l'aiuto della Tua misericordia vivremo sempre liberi dal peccato e sicuri da ogni turbamento. Nell'attesa che si compia la beata speranza e venga il nostro Salvatore Gesù Cristo. Tuo è il regno, tuo la potenza e la gloria nei secoli. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Now sing the Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Now have the communion song. We can stand now for the prayer after communion. Lord God, whose Son left us in this sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Michalina may come to eternal table Christ has prepared for her, who live and reign forever and ever. Just be seated and we now have the visual presentation and this reflection on the life of Nicolina. Sola, 
quando vi voglio bene queste parole d'amore che ti sospira il mio cuore forse non so sano Per la vita non ti lascio mai più. Mamma, I miss the days when you were near to guide me. Mamma, those happy days when you were here beside me safe in the glow of your love sent from the heavens above nothing can ever replace the warmth of your tender Per la vita non ti lascio mai più. Mamma, mamma, mamma. Like 
So we could stand now for the prayers of final commendation. And that's before we go our separate ways, or before we accompany Michalina to her resting place. We offer these prayers of farewell. And may these prayers express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even the separation of death itself. Your response is, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. So, and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid, Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you, Michalina, take you to himself. May the angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant to her, Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High.
Nelle tue mani, Signore, consegniamo l'anima della nostra sorella Michelina, sorette della certa speranza che insieme con tutti i morti in Cristo risorgerà nell'ultimo giorno. Lord, hear our prayers. Welcome our sister Michelina to paradise and help us who remain to comfort each other with the assurances of faith. Until we all meet in Christ to be with you and our brothers and sisters who have preceded us into eternal life, we ask this through Christ our Lord. In paradiso ti accompagnano gli angeli, al tuo arrivo ti accolgono i martiri, Michelina e ti conducono nella Santa Gerusalemme. May the choirs of angels come to meet you, and with Lazarus, who is poor here on earth, may you now enjoy the riches of eternal rest. Eterno riposo, donna lei, Signore, splenda ad essa la luce perpetua, Riposa in pace. Amen. So we now prepare ourselves to accompany Michelina to um, Q Cemetery, to the place of rest. Sono sola, sogni e l'orizzonte mancano le parole. Sì, lo so che non c'è luce in una stanza quando manca il sole. Se non ci sei tu con me, con me, su le finestre. Mostra tutto il mio cuore che ha acceso, chiudi dentro me la luce che ha incontrato per strada con te partirò. vissuto con te adesso si sì, vivrò con te partirò su navi per mari che io lo so no no non esistono più con te io li vivrò quando sei lontana sogni all'orizzonte mancano le parole io sì lo so che sei con me con me tu mia luna tu sei qui con me mi sei qui
Fui con me, con me, con me, con me, con te partiro. vissuto con te adesso si li vivrò con te partirò su navi per mari che io lo so no no non esistono più con te io li Vivrò con te, partirò su navi per mari, che io lo so, no, no, non esistono più. Con te io li vivrò con te.